Hi, my name is Alex Zavarda, and I'm going to teach you two's complement notation for binary numbers. Two's complement is the most common way to represent signed integers on a computer. Signed integers are both positive and negative integers. Let's start with the basics and show you how to work with binary numbers. So let's say we have three bits. That is three zeros. And when we have three bits, we have two to the n bits possibilities. That is two to the n, we have three possibilities. Two cubed is eight. So we have a range of eight possible values, starting from zero to seven. So we know what positive bi binary values look like. But what do the negative values look like? Well, to consider that, we have to think about the scope of our values. Here we have a different scope. We have eight bits. This is two cubed, gives us eight values, which range from zero to seven. But here we're going to have um, a different scope. It's going to be uh, including negative numbers. So this will be the most positive value, which is three, but the most negative value we can have is minus four. This is because two's complement has to take into account both the positive and negative values. So instead of having zero to seven, we're gonna to have to cut that in half and only have three and minus four, which is still gonna be eight values. So let's try to get the first value here, which would be minus one. How would we do that? Let's take a positive one and we're going to flip the bits and add one to convert it to a negative value. So here we have 0, 0, 1. We're going to flip the bits, 1, 1, 0, and we're going to add one to the value. And here we add one, and it gives us 1, 1, 1. And in any scope or range that you have, no matter how many bits you have, if all of the bits are 1, that is negative 1. So here, we have three bits and all of them are 1's. This is negative 1. It's a way to test. So we can fill this in. 1, 1, 1. What about negative 2? Well, let's try to fill in negative 2. So for negative 2, negative 2 is 0, 1, 0, as we can see here. We're going to flip the bits. 1, 0, 1. And we're going to add 1 to that value. So here's the flip. Here's the 1. Pop that 1 over there. 1 and 1 is 1, 0. 1 and 0 is 1. 1 is 1. This is the binary representation of negative 2. So we can put that in there as 1, 1, 0. It's a simple process for converting positive binary values to negative binary values. Negative numbers in uh, 2's complement start with a 1. The sign bit represents if it's going to be positive or negative. If it's a positive number, it will start with a zero, and if it's a negative number, it's going to start with a one. Another cool trick with binary is if you look at the last, the rightmost digit, if it's a zero, it's going to be po it's a uh, even, even, and if it's going to be a one, if the, di if the digit is a one, it's going to be odd. That is because the rightmost digit binary is one. So if it's one, you add one to whatever value you get, it's going to be odd, because everything else is even afterwards. Let's do some addition and subtraction with our negative and positive binary values. Let's take a negative two and a positive two and add them together. The result should be zero. So we have zero, one, zero, and one, one, zero. We're gonna add these together. This is gonna be zero, and this is going to be zero, and this is going to be zero. This is our left most significant digit. This value gets dropped off. We only have three bits, so this fourth one doesn't matter. We cross it out, and we get three zeros, which is indeed zero. But there is a problem. Let's say we add two and three. 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0. If we add these together, we're going to end up with 1, 0, 1. 
one zero one is negative three. How did we add a positive two and a positive three and get a negative three? Well, this is what we call overflow. It's what happens when you add two positive numbers and you end up with a negative number as a result. It can also occur if you add two negatives and get a positive as a result. Underflow occurs because the scope of our values cannot handle the operations being performed. The scope of our current value is only up to the positive three. Any higher than that, it's not supported. Because two and three equals five, that's out of the scope of our operations. And so it causes an overflow. The only way to handle overflow is have the computer tell you that's an unsupported operation.